don't really want a part of this weather, but we don't have a choice. Interesting comments here in the studio today. I want, I want to get the viewers at home to weigh in on this. <laughs> Eric says one of his favorite parts of fall is wet leaves on the ground, which I say are depressing. Favorite mm. parts, Eric, really? You find it abhorrent to see those wet leaves I on think the it's ground. I think it's a little depressing. depressing. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Dark and dismal. To me, it's like quintessential fall New England. Like you get a, you know, a fall storm, it knocks down a little foliage, <laughs> kind of lights up what's otherwise just kind of gross looking pavement or concrete. I don't know. It does a little something for me. Kind of a weird guy, though, so that's no surprise. Taking a look at what the reason behind those leaves on the ground today. We've got plenty of rainfall, and we've had plenty of wind earlier on. The wind no longer a story, but the rain's going to stay with us. It's a pattern that we've been talking about for a couple of days now. It's almost due south to north and not west to east. There's one more piece of energy. It's moving down across the upper Midwest. That's going to dive all the way down around the corner and bring us a final round of rain, and that will be tomorrow afternoon and evening. Now, in the short term, still wet tonight. Areas of rainfall streaming up across southern New England. Steadiest and heaviest will be across southeastern Massachusetts. Plymouth County down toward Buzzards Bay, Cape Cod, and the islands. But it's wet just about everywhere outside. Now, in terms of any flash flooding, this rainfall won't be as intense as what we saw earlier on today. But there are still flood warnings out across Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard until at least 7 o'clock because there is still quite a bit of standing water on the roadways. The idea being travel with caution outside. So it'll be a wet night tonight. Cloudy skies, areas of showers and rainfall streaming up. Up across the region tomorrow more of the same really throughout the day <laughs> then you see that little twist at the end that's that little piece of energy that we just look, took a look at that's gonna be an area of low pressure that brings a few downpours tomorrow evening and maybe even a little thunder and lightning before it starts to move its way off to the north and we finally clear out and dry out by Friday morning so rain totals another one to three inches are likely south and east of Boston about an inch in Metro Boston and about a half inch toward western New England so some towns that have seen over four are going to be over six inches of rainfall before things are all said and done, especially on Cape Cod. In terms of humidity, it's not as humid as it was earlier, but it's still muggy. Notice that fine line, boom, right down the Connecticut River, much drier in the Berkshires. That's also going to be how our temperatures work in these next 24 hours. Milder tonight in eastern Mass, cooler central western Massachusetts. Same idea for highs tomorrow, still running above average, but your mildest area will be around the Boston area. Now, after a break on Friday and Saturday, there is another storm system with some tropical origins that's going to quickly move up the coastline. This should arrive late on Sunday and bring some strong winds as well as some very heavy rainfall as we wrap up the weekend and start next week. It's going to move a lot quicker than the one we just had, but it should pack a punch and could bring several more inches of rainfall. So something we'll be tracking for you. The break, though, is Friday and Saturday. Saturday looks mild and bright before the clouds return on Sunday.